Okay, today I want to show how you can create the configuration for any helicopter model in to use with the script Helicomot. Helicomot. So here in Japan 4 I have those six models and I will create the configuration for this one here. That is the Apache. Okay, so here in the game. Let me reload it. Let's use the command <coughs> heli spawn to create the helicopter. We use the name of of the model. E864. Let's try again. Okay. Oh, it's 64. <laughs> okay. Let's try to fly to a stable and safe position because here the things are a little dangerous. Okay. So here. Let's use the command L edit to enter in edit mode and now we can set the name <coughs> of the model VH64 let's play name I will leave for now Apache can be enemy I will set to true this option here will determine if the if when the Cops come in a model like this, just one, if this will be a um, possible enemy or not. <coughs> Here we can edit the camera using numpad left, right, <coughs> no, using numpad 4, 6, 8, and 2, and page up, page down <coughs> to move the camera. We use left and right to Logo between the the cameras. Here, let's edit the second camera. Let's push this one here close to the launchers. Third cam the third camera will be the camera inside the cockpit. Let's push it here. Yeah, here I believe that is in good position. The four camera is the gunner camera that this model don't will really have because it is closed and we don't have any back door we use to with this camera so we'll leave it alone and the last camera is the camera that will be the uh, front camera will be the gunner camera. Let's see where it is here. Let's push the camera right here okay now just just last camera here will be the camera that you can, can control the movement with mouse too it's like the gunner camera but it's using the front of helicopter it will be it will have the feature of night vision and thermal vision in EFLC version of GTA. Now the canals. So here is the default position. Let's set 
the front of the helicopter. Here. And go down here. Cool. If this is a good position. The other cannons we don't really use, but I will put the, the same position of this cannon here. So I will press C to clone those cannons. So all the cannons will be in the same position. Mini rockets or Hellfire launchers. Now, this helicopter have two. Let's put it here and to the front. Okay, you know, to the march the front and up. Ah, okay, now let's use the C to clone and now the last rocket. Now comes the, the real rockets that have the lock on. Village. Let's push the. Here. Mark the front. And let's clone. Create the other here and clone. Create the voltage will be more both and clone it to and this last one here and clone. Let's clone this one here and clone this one here <coughs> and clone this one here. Okay, fine. It's basically just what you need to do. Set the rockets, mini rockets, cannons, camera, and press notepad zero to save. One observation is that you can't be in the model name or display name when pressing zero, otherwise, you will write in the name. Okay, so you also need to be in one of the other options. Okay, the saves, set the change are, are saved. Let me check. So here we have to have the configuration file for the Apache. It will have the name L underline the name of the, the display name. And here we can set an image file to be the preview image. So here let me pick an image of this Apache model. Yeah, this one is cool. Let's paste it here. The name is eh64.jpg. Let's set here in the image file setting the name and here the four camera it's not enabled so let's set it to zero the other others are enabled okay I believe that this is all what we need to do now let's test it in the game always reload the game after creating the settings to avoid some possible bugs So here it's the Apache. Let's see if it's ball. Sometimes the creation fails. 
Well, maybe I did something wrong. No. I believe that we need to create an warp method to use with some models like this one. That you clearly have a um, problem when it's on the ground, it starts jumping. I don't know if it's the handling that I installed or not. Which will create this option just to make sure that you can enter in the helicopter. So now we have the mode identified. You can see the HUD in the right bottom corner. We can have access to the cameras. 